Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here, and welcome to the channel. Back to the one and only top chess engine championship of season 14. And though season 15 is about to get cracking, when I have more on this, I will get another clip out. Do we expect new engines, new upgrades, and if you like, a more fair type of play because the opening books are being removed. Is this going to lead to many openings to be replicated? For sure it is, but we only need to come that far to confirm. What I really want to look at today is the game of round 31 from the bonus, end of season bonus that is ongoing. Why game 31? This is a classic case where an engine loses a game when losing is practically near impossible. And just like humans, when time is limited, we are prone to blunder. So with this in mind, let's go and see this game. When it came to the Super Final, I categorically said, with the score it ended, no engine is better than the other. But when it comes to faster time controls, because of the type of engines playing, we might have an indication as to what type of engine might be better. Lil outperforms Stockfish when it comes to those faster time controls. And with this in mind, let's look at what we have today. Oh, and something different, but very related. The end of season rules have been somewhat relaxed. This is probably the only time seen engines go all the way and even to mate. So we have no books here. So we have the two super finalist engines at it once again. Stockfish White went for a d4 startup and through knight f6, knight f3 and d5, Stockfish moved the game right into the queen's gambit. e6, declining this gambit led to this and after takes a straight e4 bishop b4 bishop g5 stopping the knight from taking got this guy going and after takes and takes d4 was also removed and now we have this it's not new and in fact it's very common in order to be able to deal with this pin the bishop Return to cover, and when Lila closed in to attack this bishop, she's not only attacking this bishop, but this knight too. The only way out of this one is what Stockfish did. But before we execute that move, can you chip in in two, one, and pause? This is a move. And when the bishop stepped into block, maybe this is a point of interest. Not bishop takes check, but this, forcing the queen to move. But does she? Anyone? If you don't move the queen, she will be lost, so Leela backed her off. And even here, it seems, the engines do not have a problem with dealing with a 12 minutes game. Stockfish, maintaining the tension here, goes for this response. Knight c6, queen e2, castles and castles. And this line of the queen's gambit with four knight f3 is not one we see often. So this might be an insightful opening for everyone who plays the queen's gambit. And I'm sure there will be too many of you who do play the queen's gambit. And if you're interested, in this type of opening, can I suggest you look at game 29, 25 and game 3 and I'm sure there will be far more openings using the exact same line. And this might be one problem without those opening books. We have already too many French, Spanish, Sicilian and in fact do pay attention to what I'm going to say. Cause I'm not going to repeat this. Out of 31 games to date, how many openings do you think involve the Queen's Gambit? The Italian, the Spanish, or the Sicilian? All of them. 
is the answer. So do we expect these openings to get repeated when or if those opening books are removed? So by solving one problem, another one is created. Let's see how this game moved on. Lila came up with this rook response. And when the bishop returned to g5, it seems stockfish has some advantage. What if the engine is not able to capitalize? It has nothing. Retreating the bishop was Lila's only response to avoid double pawns. And this is what she did. Rook fd1, bishop d3, or even bishop e3 are all viable options. And given its time limits, this is what Stockfish did. If you go for this, any good? Well, you're certainly going to get the bishop to, to retreat, but I'm not entirely convinced this will be better for Leela. But Leela never went for this. But this is what the engine did. Retrieving the bishop to allow this rook to get activated. Stockfish can challenge this rook using either rook. But in the end, shoots off with this guy. Rook ac8, bringing as many pieces as possible, or try to get as many pieces ready to come into the game, led to this attack. And rather backing off, this is how Leela dealt with this attack, forcing basically the trade off. Knight takes and rook takes. It was all a matter of whether this bishop attacks the rook or simply seeks cover or even none of the above. A3, for example, is playable, but how does the attack on the rook fare? Once you return the rook to base, white's attack is not that strong. But having said this, Stockfish still went for a bishop move, but here is where the engine placed him. Queen b8 getting out of this pin led to this bishop to attack the rook using a different route. And when the rook returned to base, a3 stopping any ideas of using b4. Bishop f8, the challenge on this rook, and knight back to e7, got the two rooks to come off. And here Stockfish uses the knight on b3 to reposition his own bishop to this very vital outpost on c5. Bishop a4 looks very interesting, but engines are never going to consider handing over bishops for knights if they can help it. So in fact, no bishop move here was committed, and this is what Lila does. And of course, the rook was called in to eyeball the queen. Queen out, and rook c2 led to this push, and when the bishop retreated to expose the rooks, if you take and take, if any sign is better now, it looks to be black, simply cause of the very position of the white king, and our white can pay the ultimate price if the queen moves out of guarding the first rank. Of course, you will need plenty of imagination to even think engines are going to allow anything remotely like this to happen. Lina's response here, b6. And when the knight try to get more active, you might need to be able to work out what is happening next. Leela, so no danger here. It went for this. And here we saw another trade. Queen c2 going for it. Did not convince Leela to trade when the queen rejected by getting into this spot, the queen maneuvered herself onto this square. These moves were repeated, and now with Stockfish not being entirely happy with a perpetual, this is what the engine does. A5, G3, and Knight D5 to entice this bishop to take, got the queen to move here. And for the time being, both sides do seem to have everything covered. This knight retreat, keeping this knight pinned, or oh, that is the idea, got the knight to jump here. And if Lila wants, the queens can come off. Lila said no. Bishop into block, queen back to base. Now being covered by her bishop. And now this attack on the knight, got the knight to return to d4. And through this sequence, after queen d3, 
Lilo would love to go for this knight move. And if only this bishop was not here guarding the square. So what did Lilo do? She... What did she do? She came in using this way. Queen c4 stopping all sorts of attacks. And just see how aggressive Lila is. She goes after the queen. There are all sorts of combinations you can try here. From queen c3 to queen d3 to knight takes b5. To what else? Okay, this one. Queen takes b5. But only one combo seems to work for white. But did we mention it? Yes, we did. Queen c3. And this is a move Stockfish went for. Knight back to e7, stopping the attack on c6. Got the queen to squeeze here. And before we move on to see what Stockfish has cooking, let's stop, or better pause, to say a win on Eagles. All the way from start, we have had a positive figure, which also means Stockfish has a slight edge, but by no means anything substantial that can determine the end result of this game. Okay, back to our game. Lila here tried it again with this knight. And through this queen move, this was Stockfish allows. Takes, takes, and Bishop back to stop the knight from coming in with this fork. Got the queen to reposition. And this is how the game moved on. Bishop f1, knight back to the center of the board. King g1, and now this attack on the big lady. Queen c8, knight back to d5, and knight to 3 got Lila in with this attack. And when the queen returned to the edge of the board, queen b4, and now we're going to get all sorts of movement. Knight back to e1 was the first sneaky challenge, or trap if you like. But there's only if you fall for it. For example, have this guy come off, and it will be Bad enough when white can make an effective use of this pin. But for sure Lila is not here by chance. She went for a king move first, but after the knight covered and chased after the queen at the same time, after queen d2 and knight c5, Lila is now getting serious. And if we do go by the engine's own evil, this is the first time Lila sees herself being in the lead. How does a minus 0.59 figure looks like when Stockfish is not bothered? And it's because he's looking at three fat zeros. Here a knight attack on the queen lets her to squeeze into here. And when the bishop came off to the knight, any ideas what Lila chooses to play? Let's test it with you guys first. So here we go in two, one, and pause. It is exactly the same as what Stockfish tried with that bishop move to c5. But now we're seeing the reverse. Okay, I hope this was a helpful hint. And this is what Lila did. Queen d1. And if now the knight is removed, bishop b5 will be the icing on the cake. Or something more cruel. And I hope you can make out what these sounds are supposed to represent. They are supposed to be the final nails in the coffin. Because if you allow this situation to unfold, after this pin, white will be unable to hold. And there you go. Coming back, this is what Stockfish did. And when the knight was returned to block the queen's axis to f8, the queen returned to b6, always preventing black from making use of b5. King h7, bishop back to f2, and queen c1 and by now Lila was evaluating a figure of minus 1.18 but how often do we get to see Lila go for an inflated value queen back to b4 led to this and Lila is trying to take advantage of this guy on a4 is there a way to promote him and believe it or not this is what stockfish does so what has the engine worked out Lila went for it here, and when a4 became a3, did we ring those alarm bells? Let's ring them silently for now. 
And what happens, or what is about to happen, is critical. For those who have been following Lila's games in the Super Final, and even before, do you remember how she was unable to cope with the presence of more than two queens on the board? She's really very bad when it comes to these specific positions. Why? She has not been trained for such eventualities. And this might just be equal to all these creepy crawlers to show you how bugged she is. And let's keep these bugs running around and I hope they will not disturb anyone. Queen takes bishop and now a2 and when the knight was also removed, Lila does manage to queen, finally. And though she's looking at a mating one, she also needs to get that chance. When the queen removed f7 with a check, there is no way this king would ever be able to get the chance to escape. So, at best or worst, we are looking at a dead draw. But with this being move 65 and the game still having another 25 moves to go, there is still plenty of stuff to follow. But do pay attention to see how even an engine like Leela can fall for what is to unfold. King to the corner, got this series of checks to roll in. And when the bishop came in with this check, is there a way for Stockfish to win? The answer is basically no, unless we witness a blunder. White cannot allow black to go unchecked because there is an outright mating one. After king g8 and queen takes check, the checks followed and check after check after check, we got to see a kind of repetition. And when this check appeared, it was not about the evils anymore, but about the time he changed in hat. Stockfish had 41 seconds left on the clock, but Leela only second. What do you think Leela does here? She basically self-destructs by deciding to get a king out in the open. And when this move appeared, we got to see that M9 sign, which also meant a mate was spotted. And don't get confused here. This is not a mate in nine, but a mate in five, because engines are looking at plies. Queen f8 is also getting to a mate, but using the tourist route, which we will avoid. After this check, the king took, and after this check, king f5. Another queen check, king g4. Are you able to find those winning moves here? Whether you go for this check or this queen check, both are a win-win. King f3 and queen e2. And you wonder why Leela was not able to deal with this type of endgame. And we need to come back to this position in the game, move 82. After this queen check on d8, king h7 was played before but why not go for it here? And this was one game Lila should not have lost. And this is a real shame. But for good or bad, Lila is way in front of Stockfish. And the way she plays, she would easily win this last leg, even though this is not official. Once these bugs are removed from a system, Lila is set to get even stronger than Alpha Zero. And this is why so many people who helped her become the B-Shears wanted to do so well. One thing stands though, Lila's here to stay, and with season 15 starting in no time, watch out already from the word go. Plenty of new engines, and some very strong ones too. So do get ready for a brand new season 15, but do not go out your way to judge any engine before you see them in action. So until next time, this was your chess puzzle.